Okay, so I received these from Jumiso through Style Korean. I have been using these two right here, which is the All Day Brightening and Balancing Serum. Uh, the first time I tested it, I did apply it morning and night, and I realized this does not work well with my tretinoin, nor does it work well with my AHA. So now I only use it in the morning, and uh, I don't mind it. I haven't noticed any brightening yet, but it does take time. I mean, I've only used that much, and I do put it on my face, neck, and decollete, so that's what I use. In addition to that, I go ahead and I apply this baby right here, which at first I did not like. This is the Jumiso Snail Mucin 95 Peptide. Um, it is very tacky. It is very um, more tacky than sticky. And again, I did not like it at first. So I ended up finding that the way that I like it is to apply this, apply this baby right on top. And again, this goes face, neck, and decollete. And then I either use a Korean sunscreen if I'm going out, if I'm staying in, I just put my Vanny Cream Moisturizer on top. If I am using the sunscreen, then I'm more than likely going to apply makeup, and I'm finding that it works well with foundation. I actually like the way that my foundations that can tend to look a little drying, I like the way that they look with this because they end up looking glowy and really dewy. It's really nice. I really do like that. As for this one, I will not be opening it until I am done with this one. Uh, this is the All Day Vitamin Pure C 5.5. There is no point in having two vitamin C's open. I do not want this to lose its efficacy. This is actually in a darker bottle, which means that it is sensitive to light. Wow, doing this with one hand, I forgot. Ah. So I keep this in a drawer and away from any kind of light except for now, of course. So that I am looking forward to testing. Again, I haven't noticed any brightening. I haven't noticed any whitening, um, but it is nice. So I have no problem using it. And again, I just don't mix it with my other acids or my retinol. This one right here, I will not be testing. I am not a fan of hyaluronic acid standalone products. I'm not even really a fan of hyaluronic acid. I find that products with hyaluronic acid, especially if it has too much in it, tend to dry my skin out. And I don't need that, you know, I don't want my skin to be dried out. I have combination skin, acne prone skin, T-zone oily, and this baby, no matter where I apply it, well, not this one in particular, um, any hyaluronic acid standalone products or, again, products with, stand with hyaluronic acid tend to dry my skin more. So I've been staying away from them for the past two years, and my skin has been happier for it. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one to a friend who's been dying to take it off my hands, and that's why I don't want to open it. So yes, so far I like these. Will I repurchase them? Mm, time will tell. If I end up liking this one, I will more than likely repurchase it. So we will see, because I want to know if this one actually does more than that one. But um, that's my review. Let me know if you've tried these, if you like them, and how you like to wear them. Bye.